Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make an ultimate wooden survival mansion that has absolutely everything that you need to survive in Minecraft. The mansion features a built-in nether portal, multiple farms right at the front of your house, we have a built-in barn, we have an insanely big mass storage area and indoor farms, we have every kind of smelting and cooking area that you could possibly want, including a pretty large and extensive enchanting library with more storage and upgrading stations. We have general crafting areas that will have every sort of crafting implement that you could possibly need, nice wide open spaces, we have more storage, more armour, we have bedrooms, we have brewing stations, and not only that, we do have more bedrooms. What more could you possibly want? So just before we begin building everybody, here are all of the materials that you will need to make your ultimate wooden survival mansion. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. So now that we have all of our stuff, we can get started. The first thing that we are going to do is make the frame of the house, which begins with us placing eight spruce wood coming directly up from the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You then want to place three birchwood slabs right of that eighth spruce. One, two, three. Place a spruce wood, three slabs, one, two, three, spruce wood, and then two slabs, one, two, spruce wood, three slabs, one, two, three, spruce wood, three slabs, one, two, three, spruce wood, and finally, three slabs, and then a spruce wood, or specifically log because we do want the effect with the logs where we get to see like the open face of them because it's actually going to be a nice little design feature later on which we're going to use for some of the particular farms and also just around the house in general. I also want to point out that you want to connect all of these spruce logs down to the ground so we want to end up with something that should look exactly like this. Now once you have achieved this effect what we are now going to do is come all the way back to the original row of eight. We're going to extend it backwards by four blocks. One, two, three, four. We're then going to extend it upwards by also four blocks. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to place three birchwood slabs going right. One, two, three. Spruce log. Three slabs. One, two, three. Spruce two slabs, one, two, and then spruce. What we then want to do is extend the spruce forwards by three, one, two, three, just like this. We then want to extend that spruce to the right, and we want to use three slabs, one, two, three, spruce, three slabs, one, two, three, spruce, three slabs, one, two, three, and then spruce. So we want to end up with something that should look like this. Now I do want to say that I think that you can connect that last spruce downwards just so that it kind of joins together in quite a nice uniform area. We can also take all of these spruces here and when I say all of these spruces, the row of four that we have and you can extend all of these down as this is supposed to be a separation just like this. As a matter of fact, this entire, this area here, this top area, you can actually join these two spruces uh, together to kind of make a rectangular area. And the point of this entirely is to be a balcony. And I made it so that the balcony specifically had a spruce floor, just to kind of contrast with um, a lot of the rest of the build. So something a little bit like that, we may alter things slightly later. So now that we have this kind of framework put into place, what we now want to do is head towards the side of the build. We want to take the very top here, this spruce wood, and we want to extend this spruce wood backwards by 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Just like that. And what we can then do, 
always in the interest of trying to make things a little bit easier, we can join this all the way down to the ground, like so. Again, making a framework, just like this. And we also want to take that 12th block and we want to extend it to the left across the back of the build by 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. To which you can then extend that all the way down to the ground again as well. So just like this. And then we want to take that 15th block and we actually want to extend it inwards by four. So that's going to be one, two, three, four. We then want to extend it left by eight. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just like that. And then you can join this all the way to the front of the build, if you so wish. But what we also want to do is we want to take that block and we want to extend it down to the ground as well. So again, it's all about just placing some framework in for ourselves for the build. It just makes things a lot easier as we go. So we just want to have something which should look like this, which is a very, very messy frame. It looks it looks kind of horrible at this, at this moment in time, but we're certainly going to be making it look a lot better. So what do we want to do from here? Well, we're going to place a couple of the windows here and I'll show you the design of the windows and then that'll allow us to progress a little bit more. So um, underneath this area here that I, uh, that I labeled as kind of like a balcony area, what I want you to do is place underneath these spruce and this is difficult to do. So I want you to place a row of birchwood stairs one, two, three, just like this. And that can even continue on, by the way, through to the next window. So one, two, three, Birchwood stairs like this. They want to be placed this way. We want to place a window in the middle of the birch stairs. We want to place two Birchwood planks extending down from the left and right stair. And we want to join them together in the middle, kind of like this. So we just want to make a little circle, just like so. And these windows are actually going to be a little bit more detailed. They'll have some leaves at the base of the windows. In addition to that, they'll have some oak trap doors left and right of the windows as well. And that's kind of what the general window design is going to be for most of the build. Um, underneath the leaves, I'm actually going to place some birchwood planks just like this. I'm going to extend these birchwood planks two rows forwards, one and two, and you can see that I've joined them together in the middle. And then in front of this, I'm actually going to place spruce uh, spruce logs, like so. Now, this row of spruce logs is the important row. As you see, we want to extend this left log here, we want to extend it to the left, and we want to line it up with the frame of the house. We then want to add two more birch planks going left, one, two, with a spruce log here on the left. And you see, the purpose of this is relatively simple. We basically want to just be able to extend a couple of rows of birchwood planks backwards. And the rows of birchwood planks are meant to be able to go around the entire house. So just extend them so they're evil, even and level with the back of the house for the moment. We'll be uh, making a walkway a little bit later. But we want to be able to walk a vast variety of places around the house. So now that we have this little row of spruce wood here, what I'm going to recommend that you do is continue extending the row of spruce wood. And I do want to get this correct. I want you to extend the row of spruce wood. I want you to go all the way over to the right. And the point is to connect it, not to the end, but to the row of spruce before the end, if that makes sense. So pretty much just here. What you are then able to do is just fill in a couple of rows of birchwood planks, just like this. What you're also able to do is um, have an entrance. So the entrance is here. The entrance is quite simple. It's basically just a little double door, pretty much. The double door will be here. It'll have a little bit of glass underneath the door, so or above the door, probably in about this position. And... It also specifically wants to have kind of like a, a sort of like 
a little roof to the door. And it's, it's basically just going to have, it's going to start here from the top corner of this window. And we're going to have birchwood slabs like this extend from the windows. And then the birchwood slabs are just going to extend inwards and upwards kind of like this. And they'll kind of just join up here, if that makes sense. And then we'll have a double door. What makes things tricky is the fact that um, we have to place this window here and there I don't think there's actually specifically a window here but um, there is a window to the left of this door so if you just add say like a row of birchwood planks just like this um, we want to copy the same window setup that we have just on the left of us so again this this is hard to do because um, it's it requires a little bit of depth basically a row of birchwood stairs uh, just across the top of the build just like this we then want to place a glass in the middle, and then we want to place a couple of planks extending down from the left and right stairs. We want to join them together in the middle at the bottom. We want something to be able to place leaves on top of at the base of the window. And then we just want to have oak trap doors like this. So you can see exact same design as everywhere else. Um, this area here actually, <laughs> there's a set of stairs here. So, I, I don't know whether to actually add this in now. Okay, let, let's do it. So, where we have these two rows of spruce wood, we also want to have rows of spruce wood. They're to be extended, basically, on the edge here, they are parallel to these rows. So you can place a row of spruce wood here, and here, just like this. What's special about this area is that there are a set of stairs. The set of stairs begin just in between these uh, front pair of spruce wood, and we want to place uh, rows of birchwood stair extending upwards until eventually we are able to just climb onto um, the third story of the house. So you can see we want to place stairs with upside down stairs just directly behind them leading up to this area. So this area specifically, we just want to be able to walk on just like that with some birchwood, uh, some birchwood planks. We also want to have another row of spruce. This row of spruce is ac actually placed coming outward diagonally from the birchwood planks that we've just placed. So if that makes sense, you can see that it kind of forms a corner shape like this. Uh, what we are then able to do is place uh, some birchwood slabs joining the spruce together at the top like so. No need for it to do uh, to do it here with these stairs. What we can then do is flay these two corners up here and here, and I want you to preemptively place a couple of birch vents, and I do mean literally a couple, two of them, on top of each of the flared up um, spruce woods. I want you to join these spruce woods that we have just behind here. I want you to join them down to the lower part of the platform. What we are then going to do is we are then going to, I think that the best way to do this is I want to place a row of spruce wood directly behind all of these slabs that we kind of just placed there so that you get the really cool depth effect. I really, really like that. What we then want to do is we want to place birch wood stairs underneath the row of spruce and we want to create the same window effect that we have everywhere else. So if that makes sense, we want to place the birchwood stairs just underneath the spruce like this. We want to have the glass underneath the center like that. We want to have the birchwood planks all the way around the glass just like this. That is looking fantastic. We want to have the same leaves that we have everywhere else. We want to have the same trap doors that we have everywhere else. So you can see it really does pull things uh, together quite nicely. It's, it's pretty cool. What we are going to have as well is we're going to extend these spruce logs upwards on the left and right sides of the windows, kind of like this. So again, it, it kind of creates a, this depth. We also want to have spruce logs extended and flared upwards around the balcony, which will then allow us to place birch fence in between them. So that will fully turn it into a balcony. We don't have to have fence here, but we do have to have fence around here though, just like this. So, what what else can we do here? So this oh this this is going to be an entrance. I, I haven't mentioned that or have I? I don't know. I don't think I have. So the entrance is going to be here and it's going to have kind of like a spruce wood frame. 
And the entrance is going to be pretty typical of uh, just a pretty simple entrance. So uh, maybe a couple of birchwood planks just at the base, maybe uh, a set of like birchwood stairs just across the top of it, and then it'll have an actual door in there. The roof of this we're not going to tackle just quite yet, so what we will do, and, and by the way, th this area here, like, you're supposed to be able to walk behind these stairs, so, um, it, it's fine, the, this area here doesn't really have to be filled in, but what does have to be filled in is the balcony area, so what you can do is place your spruce wood logs joining down to the ground, just like this, or, to, well, it is the ground technically, we want to then place spruce uh, just actual spruce logs directly behind the um, the birchwood slabs, just kind of how we do there. It just makes a really nice effect, and um, it's probably best if we have another row of something to place onto just behind it. Um, it's also a good idea to place spruce behind the actual like the pillars of spruce that we have like this, and then that allows us to make the win the classic window design, which is um, the rows of stairs at the top to extend the planks down on the left and right sides, to place the window in the center, to place the trap doors left and right of said window, and then place the leaves across the front of the bottom. So we just want to have two windows like this. There's going to be a door here as well. So the door's going to be here. That's just going to be glass and a couple of doors. So nothing particularly fancy about that. And you can see that this is really shaping up right now. I'm pretty happy with how this is going, but we are missing a lot. I know it seems like we've done so much, but we are missing a lot of stuff. So what are we going to be doing next? Well, we're going to take the row of spruce that we placed earlier, this kind of horizontal row that we've not really done too much with, and we are going to extend particular spruce woods down to the ground that correspond with the spruce woods that we have in front of us. So this might not make too much sense as I'm saying it, but hopefully, once you take a look, we want to join the spruce woods down to the ground that are parallel to the other spruce woods that are also vertically placed in the house. It's consistent throughout the entire house. We want to also raise up every single one of those spruce woods by an additional block such as this, like that. We are then going to place, well that, that one doesn't have to have that place there. We're then going to place birch fence in between and this is just going to be a walkway. We want to be able, we don't want to have to jump that gap, so we'll place some birch in there. And then what do we get to do from here? We want to place a further row of spruce wood. The spruce wood is placed in front of the rows that we just placed, however these spruce wood rows are going to be one row shorter than the rows behind. So if that makes sense, we just want to have something which should look like this. Now, we've actually placed a little bit more than we need, but that's perfectly fine. So, we're going to place spruce, or uh, birchwood slabs across the top of all of this, and I really should place the nether portal so that we don't waste our time. Okay, let me grab it. Let me grab the obsidian. So I'm just going to get rid of the glass for a moment and I'm going to grab obsidian because it's actually completely irrelevant for us to have um, this pair of spruce wood here. It, it's We don't need it at all. Um, and what we do want to have in, in this space instead is obsidian in the exact same pattern. Uh, it wants to join together in the ground and that's exactly what we want to have right there instead of what we had previously. Just we want to have obsidian and we want to extend it one row forwards like this. So it actually wants to stick out a little bit. I think will look a little bit better. So it lines up with all of the entrances which is funny because it is also in itself an entrance. What we now want to do is we want to place the classic window design throughout the rest of the build. So I'm not going to light the portal just yet, just in case I accidentally step into the thing, so I'm going to grab the glass back out. We want to place the windows, as I said. That's that's the same thing as everywhere else. That is a birchwood stairs directly underneath the row of spruce that runs horizontal at the top. We then want to make the kind of like the framework for the window, which involves us placing birchwood planks uh, underneath the left and right sides like this, joining down to the ground. And then we are able to place a glass window in the middle of these. 
We can then place oak leaves in the bottom, although that might change on the left and right side ever so slightly, you'll see why. And then we will place some oak trap doors in front of the left and right sides here. So we just want to have something which should look like that, which I'm pretty happy with. You can see that we're adding layers upon layer of on this house and it really does make it look better and better as we do progress. The next thing that we are, that we are going to do is we are going to mark out some farms. There's two of them. We have a farm on the left side and we have a farm on the right side. They are spaced by placing the, we take the center row of spruce wood and we place one, two, three, four, five, six spruce extending outwards. We go left by four, one, two, three, four, and then we place two birchwood stairs, one, two, and then we place a spruce log on the end. We extend the log back, up, back, up, back, up, back, up, like this, Actually, it doesn't go that high. It wants to be level with this row of spruce that we placed earlier. Extend back and then extend that log upwards like this. So if that makes sense, it kind of gives us a little bit of a framework. So what we can then do is we can place diagonally placed birchwood stairs extending up and backwards like this. You can even place upside down stairs underneath them. And we kind of get this nice open feel of stairs as we ascend upwards. So we have the stairs and we have the um, birch wood extended backwards. And you kind of get that floating stair effect. Not only do we have it there, but we have it there as well. I really like it. Um, we're going to take the farm area and we're going to close it off like this. This will be filled in with dirt. We want to have an equivalent farm on the right side here, which is very, very easy to do. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We take the middle, we extend it across and then back. It's, it's as simple as that. It really is. It's, that's all you have to do. It's the same on both sides. I prefer it if the spruce is placed upwards as well. Something else to mention is there are two tiny little inbuilt farms in the ground. Now, these little tiny inbuilt farms are basically... If you take the corners of the nether portal and destroy the blocks, extending outwards diagonally, extend the destroy the blocks left and right to make a double wide space and then dig forwards one two three like this and you want to kind of dig a little trench we're going to place a different crop so i actually want beetroots in here because we they're just a nice colorful vibrant plant and i'm just going to have regular wheat inside these places i'm going to have a, a, a pathway that actually leads from the portal and it's just a double wide pathway, it's made out of birch wood, it helps to frame the house, that's why I'm making it. Um, it, it just helps to frame things a little bit better. And this pathway actually wants to lead from here, all the way to here, so... In some sort of way, and I haven't 100% figured out, there, there should be a, maybe a little bit of a curve here. So, kind of like this. Join and connect, just kind of like this. I think that that looked pretty good. Um, I just want like a nice little curved solid birch path. Um, birch made sense to me because we have the birch stairs here and it just seems like a nice, a, a nice solid path rather than a grass path which is going to lead us to the barn a little bit later. I don't know whether that we should make... Okay, let's let's make part of the barn now. I'm not promising that we'll finish it because it may make more sense later to... Well, do it later. Okay, so I want you to place, extending from the top of this spruce wood here, so this spruce log, I want you to place six, one, two, three, four, five, six, birch wood extending outwards. You can even join it down to the farm. We then want to take the sixth block and extend it right by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you can join it down. What we are then going to do is we are going to take this block and extend it backwards by eight. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that can be joined down to the ground like this. And actually, you know what, let's make it seven because then it lines up quite nicely here. So we'll make that seven, my bad. And then what we then want to do is extend it a further one, two, three to kind of like line it up here. And then we're going to extend it backwards by a further seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we can extend it downwards. So um, I originally said eight, my bad, but I actually want it to line up here because you see inside the barn, and this is all the inside the barn area, uh, you can even join the side of the base of the barn 
um, together at the bottom, if you just place a row of spruce wood like this, just kind of like all the way around the barn, like so. You you don't know specifically, uh, but I I know this. The, the barn extends a little bit inwards, and it kind of like joins back to this position, like this. So you can see it's quite a large barn area. Um, this central point of the barn actually wants to let in some natural light, so we're going to place some birch fence here. But on the sides of the barn, other than that, we're just going to have some birch wood planks, like this. Uh, we're also going to have birch wood planks extending across the back. I'll, I'll place them in here right now, although um, I'd, we might as well also take up this corner and also extend it inwards, kind of like this. You can even join it towards the front because, like I said, this is the interior of the barn, and um, it does make sense for us just to add a little bit of uh, a little bit of structure to it. Um, this side of the barn here that kind of um, faces towards the farms, these can just be birch fence because I think it's kind of cool from this area to be able to see the animals, the mobs that we have kind of wandering along inside. When it comes to the actual entrance to the barn, we're going to place a row of upside down one, two, three birch stairs with spruce logs on the end, extending bottom to top, just kind of like this. And what else do we want to do? Do we want to make this look a tad bit fancier? Hmm. Okay, so we're going to extend the sides of the barn. On the left and right side, we're going to add a row of spruce wood that extends from the top and the bottom, just kind of like this. And then we're going to extend a row of birchwood slabs that extends all the way through the top, kind of like this. So the entrance is highlighted, just like so. Uh, we're going to just fill this in using some birch fence. And we're going to place a little bit of leaves just in front of the barn. So maybe just in the middle of the window, extending left um, to the, well, to pretty much most of the end of the farm. And you can see this is, this is starting to get a little bit crazy, isn't it? You know, we've done pretty much, this is the entire front pretty much done minus the roof area and some of the little farms, but we're, we're really getting there. I want you to grab the birch fence and I want you to take the two inward corners of the farms and I want you to place one, two, three birch fence extending inwards, one, two, three, just on both sides. It just makes it look a little bit nicer. We're now going to work on the sides of the building a little bit because it's it's very important. We we are actually missing pretty much the entire rest of the building other than <laughs> other than the front. So on the sides of the build and we'll work our way around clockwise. On the sides of the build we actually want kind of like a similar setup to what we have everywhere else. Um, I'm going to place a birchwood plank on the other side of this window where we had the stair. I'm going to extend the birchwood plank backwards by two. One, two. I'm then going to place a spruce log. Three more planks. One, two, three. Spruce log. Three more planks just like this. This takes us to the end. I'm going to take the birch planks on the left and right sides and I'm going to extend the planks down by two. So one, two, one, two, join them together at the bottom, one, two, one, two, join them together at the bottom. I want you to place glass pane in the middle of these and I also then want you to place oak trap doors on the left and right sides. This may seem familiar. We then want to place spruce logs in between all of the windows and we want to underline this by placing, well, more spruce logs just like this. So you can see it's actually very similar to the windows that we have on the front but um, it actually looks a little bit goofy. IMO. If we place the stairs along the top. So um, underneath this we actually want to place, we, we want to place spruce wood extending downwards from all of the places that we had the spruce wood up above so we just want to join these rows downwards um, so to speak so kind of like this uh, I'll just mark them out and then it's actually easier to place it from the inside just like so and this wants to extend down like this and we could even have it um, placed on the inside of the walkway that we kind of like um, made a little bit of a feature of and then they want we want the same windows above that we have below or this we want the same windows below that we have above except here so this space actually wants to be left completely open so other than that i want you to place windows in the same position so here like this so we've just got two at the front we're going to be placing glass in the middle and we're going to be placing oak trap doors left and right of the glass 
Um, the space in front, so this area here, is completely going to be filled in with um, spruce logs because it doesn't always have to look 100% pretty. I actually quite like that. And what we then want to do is we want to start working on this area here. So I know that we've left a gap, but that's actually intentional. So on the back of the house, um, we kind of have... We, first of all, I want you to take, you see this spruce log that's kind of like pointed outwards here? It's the corner of this window. This spruce log can actually be extended all the way across the build like this. And where does it want to join? It, it kind of actually wants to join up to this corner here up above if this makes sense so you can see from the the corner of this window i want to try and make this as easy as possible we take it from the corner of this window we extend it left and then we extend it upwards just like this but we then want to take the bottom of this and we want to extend it three rows more actually four rows more one two three four where it would connect to the top corner of the barn but it would also connect upwards like this so we have the same separation of windows that we kind of have everywhere else um, we can take these blocks and we can extend them down like this and like this just like so we want to have you can see where these spruce woods also intersect here, so between all the windows. So just up above, we also want to take that area and we want to place spruce wood extending all the way across, so kind of like cutting it in half. What we also want to do is we kind of want to do the same thing outwardly. So here, we want to also add that same row of horizontal spruce wood. It also wants to join here as well. And... <laughs> What we also want to do is we want to have it just down below here here too. So it, it just wants to be here. So I, I hopefully that I'm trying to make this as least complicated as possible. But you can see that we've made quite a lot of framework. And that's very, very important because what we now want to do is on the upper level, this is specific to the upper level, we want to copy the same separation of spruce that we have on the front, we want it on the back as well. So on the back you can mark it out, you can place one, two, three birch planks, spruce lug, one, two, three birch planks, spruce lug, and then two birch planks, I'm actually going to place fence, two fence, and then spruce lug, and then three planks. Then it kind of it comes around to the side. We want to place birch planks here, and then we'll even have the same here as well. Um, we can even actually continue, so we can extend these spruce logs forwards. We can cut through here, and we can place some fence as well. So um, it pretty much wants to be quite parallel to the front. I can tell you that the area next to this fence on the right wants to be completely filled in with birch and this area here. So this this entire little corner here just wants to be completely um, birch planks. Uh, this area here though, this is completely different. So extend all of these spruce logs upwards, this will join and hit the top frame of the house. And you can either make this blank or you can add windows. That's actually completely up to you. I don't actually like windows being absolutely everywhere throughout the build, but I'm, I'm going to add them here. Feel free to block off any of these windows with just solid birch, um, or you could even use spruce as well. Just feel free to, to block them off in any way that you would like, and um, if you have plans for the interior, that is. So that's kind of what we want to have like along the top part of the build. <sighs> However... We also, and this is where things get complicated, so we want to take the separations between all of the windows and we want to extend them downwards. So we want to extend them downwards all the way down through the ground throughout the build. We want to have the same separations of spruce wood that we have just up above, joining down to the ground. So you can see it all it, it all comes up from the ground, or I guess we're building in the reverse way, but it all, it all joins together in a very natural way, just kind of like this. We then want to have those same separations of birch inwards as well. So inside of the house, we want to add the exact same thing. So this is actually part of the walkway, and I'll show you this in just a moment. So with all of those separations, you can now see that we can extend the birch wood walkway, the birch wood planks. We can now extend it all the way through kind of like this, right? 
we can extend it all the way through and we can walk along the entire back of the house like this you see all of these and actually we are going to add we we need to add another row of spruce wood so we want to have another row of spruce wood here uh, this wants to be as high as kind of like the middle portion of the spruce. Uh, I know that this is getting a little bit complicated, but you can see that um, kind of to make a corner effect, we just want to have a row, row of a spruce extending from the ground here, and it just wants to be even and level with the rest of this. So you can even, perhaps we can even join it here as well, just kind of like um, in kind of like a 90 degree angle. Uh, we also want to just place some spruce wood along the side of it, and then what that will then allow us to do is work on the inside. So this is pretty much all we're going to be doing is copying the windows that we have on the front of the build. So that means that we just have to add a little bit of birch wood plank behind all these windows. We want to add some more spruce wood or spruce logs behind all of the pillars of this. And we want to place birch wood stairs at the tops here birchwood stairs along the top except for where we have this double gap we can place glass in here instead this is where the door is going to go um, birchwood stairs all the way along the top like this there you go and then we can make the same window shape that we've made everywhere else so you can see this is way more akin to the windows that we have on the front um, you have the space to add these fancy windows on the front and the back it is less so on these sides because as i said i find it a little bit weird to have these stairs this this is what would happen you'd get that and then you have kind of like a little gap and i don't quite like it but you might actually so you know that's an option for you um we have these tiny little windows here we have the same trap doors on the left and right sides of them like this. And we also want to have the leaves below them as well because the leaves really do add a little something. I can't believe I managed to miss the trap doors on this window. There we go. So you can see it really, do, it really does just make it look a lot nicer really. What else do we have to do here? Well, we have to place fence in between all of these separations. So the fence is going to be placed like this. We want to actually fill in underneath this area. We, we want to fill in using spruce logs. So just inside of all of the vertical rows of spruce, we want to add spruce logs like this. And it's just going to give you a nice depth effect. It's going to help to fill all this in. We're going to be placing some grass and some leaves and stuff later on. And this is what we'll have. That looks pretty good to me. Um, what else do we want to do? So we can add a floor to this. Um, I, we'll make it out of virtual planks. So um, this is sort of like little balcony area. We're going to completely add virtual planks like this. We're going to add birch wood logs here. Actually, it doesn't even matter what we add there. We can we can actually use um, birch birch planks like so. So you can see we just want to turn it into a bit more of a solid area like this. We've got the balcony. We've got the entrance here um, on the side here. So you want to be able to walk all the way here. Um, we want to have a set of stairs. So the set of stairs are three rows long, and I want to say that they uh, that they start on the ends of these birch wood planks, and we're just going to place the upside down birch stairs with the regular stairs in front until we eventually get all the way down to the ground like this, and there will actually, uh, actually, yeah, it's actually easier if we place this final row and then a row behind them, so like this. Perfect. So now you can see that's how you get up onto that particular part there. Um, there is also going to be spruce logs placed on the opposite end of this bottom stairs here. The spruce logs aren't going to be mega high. Um, just place ju just place a row that kind of like matches the row to the right of us, although it is not going to stay that way, I can promise you. So now that we have made a significant amount of this, oh, and what we should also do too is we should just fill in just behind the stairs. I'm going to use some spruce just to keep it a little bit dark. So like this looks pretty good. 
Um, what else do we have to do? So, um, yeah, yeah, okay, so we'll, we'll take this side of the stairs here. Actually, no, mm. hmm. Yeah, okay, we'll take this side of the stairs and we'll kind of, this, this just wants to be an entrance. So you can actually fill this in with some birch wood, uh, with some actual birch wood. You can place spruce wood on, on top of this. And this, there just wants to be a door here somewhere, you know, I, I'm not quite sure how fancy to make it. I might even make it blend in with the barn a little bit like this. And it might just be like a little single door kind of like that. So just a little, a little bit hidden away, sort of, just like so. Um, Above here, we actually want to, we, we actually want to kind of like, on top of the, the row of spruce logs that we have here, we kind of like want to extend this forwards, like all the way forwards, kind of like, well not all the way forwards, kind of like here, and th this entire top part just wants to be spruce logs, so, um, the side of the build is actually going to be like half roof, half just kind of like spruce wood logs, I suppose. And it's just going to look a little bit like this. So, not really any windows, although that doesn't mean that we cannot add them. We absolutely can later on. We just want to have this sort of effect on the side. And th this might look bad at the moment, but tr trust me, it's, it will look fantastic when all of the roofs added. Um, it will it'll just look so, so much better. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, I'm sorry if that, that was quite painful because it were, you know, it's, it's it's a pretty complicated house. Like a lot of it, like it's, you know, it's, it's just it's just not that easy to like, um, Oh, we, there's also like a, a window here, so just along the side of the stairs, and we can just fill um, just behind the stairs in here using spruce wood as well. There's just another window here. This can actually be made to be the same as the windows on these sides. Um, but all I was going to say was I was just going to give myself a little excuse. It's it's quite a, a tricky build to make. There's like a lot of depth, so um, we just want the same window. By the way, I'm sure that I just mentioned that. Um, we want the same window that we, we that we have pretty much everywhere else, just on the side of the stairs here. It's a very tricky build. There's a lot of depth. There's a lot of different levels. There's a lot of different kinds of roofs and styles and stuff built into this house. So I do apologize if things have been very tricky. Um, it's not meant to be, but you know I, I can only do my best. So what we now going to do next we have to make the walkway this walkway here this walkway at the at the start of the build actually wants to extend all the way round and it wants to join the back corner of the build so the walkway wants to extend backwards and it wants to join the the back corner of the build like this using a row of spruce um, the bottom corner here wants to be extended down and then we want to add the same spruce wood separations um, to the kind of like the little walkway here we want to add the same spruce wood separations that we have above just down below like this and the spruce wood wants to get extended upwards as well so it all wants to be flared upwards and we want to have a birch fence in between all of these spruce so like this there we go and we also want to have spruce wood placed directly behind and in between all of these spruce wood rows like this so it just get, it, we want to kind of create like a cool depth effect like so and it will end up looking a little something like that uh, probably a little bit more forwards as well so here and here and here i really like that that's looking pretty good um what else can we do? Okay, so I want to add a row of leaves. The row of leaves is going to start from here, which is just kind of like left of the front, like left corner of the house. It's just like set one row back. And the leaves are going to extend all the way backwards. And they are going to, all the way back here. And they're actually going to sit just kind of like on the side of the barn. So is that right? Uh, it's just going to sit on the side of the barn here. Um, they probably won't supersede the barn. They'll probably just kind of like sit this way. 
and that will kind of like um, keep this little path here separate that leads us from um, kind of like a back part of the house up onto the second floor. So that is looking pretty good. I'm quickly scanning around for anything that I might have missed, by the way. So what we're going to do next, we're going to do some minor details before we work on the roof. And the minor details require some dirt, some flowers, we'll need flint and steel, a hoe, and we'll need seeds. Any kind of seeds will do, whatever your favourites are. So we're going to place dirt behind the leaves and the dirt placed behind the leaves are in these alcoves of spruce wood, just like this. It's actually preferable if you have grass, but you know, not everybody has. And we want to place some tulips, or your flower of choice. I like these white tulips, they're very neutral and they're quite a pleasing, uh, pleasing shape. I like to have them like this. That's looking pretty good. Um, what else do we want to have? Well, we want to fill the farms in. We're going to be using dirt for this. Just like this. Uh, on this side and this side too. Uh, as I said, I mean, we've got the beetroot seeds, but um, we also want... I want, anyway, a variation. So uh, beetroot is going to be grown on these kind of like upper planters. Uh, the ones that are much easier, much more visible as they're not set into the ground. So beetroot on the in these particular planters here, these, these little farms. And we're going to have regular seeds in the sunken part. So here, regular seeds here, and here. Perfect. I'm going to light the portal using some flint and steel. We could even light the portal behind because we technically have two of them. Um, if you want to kind of like a little bit of a depth effect. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, to be quite honest, I don't think that we have missed anything whatsoever. Now, I might be completely wrong. I might spot something as we're going around. Um, the only thing that I do actually spot right now is the fact that I like to have a grass path kind of like um, extending from the regular path here all the way to the barn so kind of like um, kind of like this I just kind of want to have a curved path that will kind of like split off from the regular path just like this that's looking pretty good and it can be a little bit more curved like that so you've got two different options you you can take the more well-worn path or you can take the fancy path that leads you to the house now i don't think that there's much left to do okay so this is this is what we're gonna do now oh <laughs> i i also want to kind of like make a little path at the back here i kind of just want to use a little bit of grass path and i want to use some white tulips around it so this area here that kind of leads from the back of the house up onto the little walkway there um yeah that i also i also want that there now there's nothing else. Okay, this is this is what we're gonna do. This is what we'll need. We will need spruce logs. We'll need glass, birchwood planks, birchwood slabs, and birchwood fence. We're now going to systematically work on all of the little roofs that we've got everywhere around the house. And there's a, there's actually a few of them. So roof number one, we actually made the framework for it earlier, is going to start up here. So I want you to place birchwood planks on top of these two fence that we kind of um, placed earlier. And the birchwood planks, I want you to extend them backwards and join the frame of the house. I want you to place birchwood slabs on the sides of the planks like this. So birchwood slabs on the sides of the bottom of the planks. And I want you to extend the top of the planks inwards and upwards like this. So we want to make a nice little roof shape like so. Uh, we're then going to extend the planks back and we're going to extend these slabs back and this will join very naturally to the roof that we're going to be making a little bit later on. That's looking pretty good. Um, what else do we want to do? There's also a small roof on the side here. So on the very side of the house, on the back, um, we want to place two birch fence, so one, two, on this back corner of the walkway, and one, two, on this back corner of the walkway as well. We want to place birchwood planks on top of the, uh, on top of the birch uh, fence, and we want to place birchwood slabs extending on the left and right sides of them, and exactly the same way that we did earlier, we just want to have the same 
um, the same pretty much pattern, the same idea as we had just before. So this will just highlight kind of like a, a bit of an entrance area. So if on the front of the build you were like, ah, oh, I don't know if this leads anywhere, you can see a roof and it kind of like, it makes you think that there probably is something back there, or at least it would make me think that, but I'm gullible. So um, now that we have this place, um, we also have a... You see, we, we have the barn roof as well, so that actually kind of joins into this next part. So um, let's do the barn. Let's do the barn roof. So the barn roof, unsurprisingly to you, I'm sure, is a row of... We start off using birchwood slabs that sit on the sides of the barn. It actually goes all the way from the front of the barn all the way to the back of the barn, vice versa. Um, birchwood slabs hanging off the top sides of the barn like this and the slabs then want to get extended inwards and upwards until they eventually join together in the middle like this. So I believe that, oh, this is a double roof as well. Uh, as opposed to everything, it, this is actually a little bit of a double roof. Um, behind the roof area here, you can feel free to place a little bit of um, spruce and maybe even a little bit of glass as well, just to kind of uh, make it look, actually the glass kind of, um, actually doesn't look quite right. I actually prefer the spruce, and I think that I'd prefer the spruce one row backwards to what we've just made it here, so um, just like this, I think would actually look a lot better. Um, the roof is then going to get extended backwards, of course. Um, we want to extend back all of the birch and all of the slabs, uh, all of the planks and all of the... You guys get the idea. These slabs and the planks want to get extended backwards. We're just going to um, focus on extending them back. I'm not quite far, quite sure how far. I guess um, just behind the stairs area here, we'll probably seal this up using spruce wood or spruce logs. It's still spruce wood technically, despite the fact that it's a log. And we want to... Yeah, it'll, it'll just connect in this in this way. I was just wondering where whether they would connect exactly, so um, they'll naturally stop here. Um, the other side of the roof is not the not exactly the same though, so this will actually extend all the way back like this, and this doesn't have to be here. Um, this is a plank. This can extend back like this. This slab wants to also extend all the way back as well, of course. And so does this slab. So it all kind of like lines up rather nicely. So how what do we do from here? Well, we're going to continue extending all of these slabs backwards. So we'll extend all of the slabs and all of the planks backwards so that they overhang the back of the house by one row, like this. We'll join them all together, like so. So um, just to kind of like make them flow a little bit better. And... The idea here is that we want to kind of... How, how do we want to do this, actually? I, I think I actually made this look a lot better than I was about to. So what we can do is we can take the edge of the spruce slab here, or the birch uh, slab here, and we can extend it upwards, and upwards and inwards, upwards and inwards, upwards and inwards. And we're going to have it extend a decent amount up. Where do we... We'll make it extend so that it's middle point is or its highest point is kind of like even and level with the middle of this window i think that that's quite pleasing to look at perhaps and then maybe and then we'll start like extending right and down right and down and then we just want to extend right so it'll actually then join all the way to this roof here so it's actually quite a nice feature like this and then we can just take the top of this and we can uh, we'll have to get rid of that and we'll just replace it using the spruce slabs and the planks you could even go higher if you wanted to by the way you could have that drop up a little bit higher but i think that with it being kind of like above the center of this particular part of the house i actually think it looks quite nice like that so um we'll just leave it like that i quite like how that looks oh and also we, oh we'll also have to join this too um so this will have to, uh, th so it might have been that we kind of made this window in vain. We, uh, I, I guess, uh, yeah, we, or, or maybe not. I, it might be that we can kind of like work the roof around it. Um, it might not have been made for no reason. So yeah, we, we actually still get a little bit of a, a little bit of a roof here. I actually quite, it looks pretty good. I think that, oh no, no, it does, uh, that looks fine. And then this wants to get extended here. I guess we have to get... 
Haha, <laughs> my bad. Uh, I guess that that has to go here and then here. That looks pretty good, like a little half window. You should be able to walk underneath that. And I, I just think that that really makes the back of the house look awesome. I really, really love the effect there. So in doing that, ladies and gentlemen, what we now have to do is we have to work on the big roofs. So there's there's only two roofs left, and they're relatively large roofs, and they're exactly where you would expect them to be. They're on the back of the house. It's actually easier to make them on the back of the house um, than it is the front of the house. Well, actually, one's easier on the back and one's easier on the front. I'll explain. The first of the two roofs that we're going to make is going to be the larger. It's easier to start from the back, and what we're going to do is place an entire row of birch planks extending from the front to the back of the build on top of the spruce wood area. We're going to place a birch wood slab hanging off of this end plank and extend the slab towards us, left and up. We're going to extend the slab left and up, left and up, until eventually we reach the peak of the roof. The peak of the roof, roof is, I'm going to show you where that is specifically once I've reached it, the peak of the roof wants to be here. So it wants to, where the two block gap area is here, it wants to this is where the peak of the roof wants to be. We then want to take the lower half of this and we want to place slabs left and down, left and down, left and down, until we eventually, at a certain point, we want to end up with this. So you can see that that's where the peak of the roof is, you know where the roof begins, and it wants to end in the same way. So that is the outline for the roof. Um, if you want, you can extend that birch wood plank inward so that it's inside the house. You can do the same with the slab just here on the side of it. Now, the same shape kind of wants to be on the front as well, but what we're now going to do is make the frame for the other roof. So, this part of the roof is actually easier if we place it on the front of the build, if we start on the front of the build, as a matter of fact. And um, it all has to join together. So, on the front of the build, on the left side here, where we have this, um, where we have like the side of the balcony, we're going to place a row of birchwood planks on top of the side of the balcony, like this. We're going to place birchwood slabs on the side of the virtual planks and we're going to uh, extend the plank right and up, right and up using birchwood slabs and we're just going to extend it right and up, right and up a few times. Now the middle of the roof is actually it's not where we have this vertical row of spruce, it's actually just to the right so we want to go right and up just like this and then we want to start going like right and down again so we want to go like right down right, down, hang on, down, right, down, right, so tricky, down like this, so right down, right down, right down, and you see it actually joins perfectly into this roof, you can then take the end of this birchwood slab here, you can extend this backwards, like so, it wants to overhang the back of the build. You want to shear off this layer of spruce wood and this wants to become birchwood planks. Uh, it's going to overhang the back of the build of course. We're then going to place birchwood slabs in and up, in and up, in and up. And it wants to copy the same shape that we have on the front of the build as well so that's the roof shape but the thing about that is it it would probably be easier to extend this roof backwards a little bit and to extend so it, it'd actually be easier to like do parts of the roofs kind of like um kind of like not do full like one full roof but to do parts of them if that makes sense so uh, it will just make it easier to join them together so i'm coming to the front part of the large roof now and i'm making the front of the frame and you can see that this is going to join into this one, so we'll do that. And we'll just do the outlines for all of them, and then once the outlines are done, we can kind of like decide what the easiest way to join them all together is, but hopefully you guys kind of get the gist of this. So, there we go. That's kind of like how they all kind of like line up together, and then this will obviously start extending back down inwards 
just so that it all looks clean so that nothing's like floating so just like this and then th this is the same way too this can get extended inwards and down um it might look a little bit messy now but we will make it look a little bit better so how do we do it I mean, i'll just start on this right side and i'll just start extending blocks backwards i i think that that's the the best thing to do just start extending blocks backwards and forwards um maybe starting with planks because planks are just easier they're a solid block and and then we can kind of just see how things piece together this is this is kind of how I would suggest doing it kind of just like piece by piece uh, this this is a solid plank block no it's not okay my bad this one yeah this one is um, just extending things um, there we go just extending certain blocks just like forwards and backwards just making sure that everything does just so is this no it's not hmm. okay um, just extend f things forwards and backwards see what connects to other points and and then just fill in in between so um, if you get all of the planks placed first as i mentioned it'll probably be a lot easier um, that's usually the case with these kinds of roofs my favorite kind of roof by the way actually a little bit more difficult than if we were to just use stairs um, but I, I think that these are a lot more versatile and I, I just happen to like how these look a lot better so um, there we go we've added in a lot of the planks so that actually does help quite a bit and we can now just add in some of the slabs so we'll add the slabs in here and here just at the top front to back as well here um, this part is, yep, th this this has got to be here too, okay, um, this as well, here, um, this part of the roof wants to extend and join, so where, hmm, yeah, you've, you've also got to make some decisions, it would seem, as to like what what roof gets like a little bit more priority than the other roof? I, I think that if you just, um, if you just kind of like use a little bit of your own decision making to see, like the like the thing is just there, like yeah, okay, so on that particular part where the, they don't quite line up very well, if you place the slabs so that it's uh, so from here all the way to here like where it joins on the opposite end it actually looks a little bit better than if you were to just kind of like make a random shape so a lot of it is going to be your own judgment so that looks pretty good and then this side actually doesn't interfere with anything it's only the connecting points that um, you may have a little bit of trouble with and it's not even a big deal I mean it's so high up in the air you're probably not going to see it and no matter what I mean it's going to the, the connection points are going to look a little bit wonky a little bit like that anyway um, it'll look good though no matter what you do to it to be honest I mean even with a little bit of a random element to it I mean I, I like how it looks um, we have to extend the frame upwards inside of the roofs as well so we have to extend the frame the spruce like this we want to have spruce here here that's looking pretty good i like how that looks we can add a little bit of glass to this to the middle point of the roof here just going to have glass here 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 and here so that all joins together rather nicely um the the spruce makes a really good backdrop for this um because it's it's such a contrast color to the birch the birch is so light the spruce is so dark it it just it's a really nice contrast color so we can place all this here um even add a little bit of a window ju just to the middle of the top if you like just make sure that the roof joins together on the inside because i mean it is visible as you walk around as to that block there there we go um so yeah that's that's looking pretty good that looks awesome that is that is fantastic um we have to make it look the same on the back as well so on the back it's quite an easy job really on the back it's a little bit different i will actually sink the top part of the roof one row inwards so um, from the frame on the top of the back here we'll just have the spruce sink one row inwards just to create that same level of depth that we have on the front we want the same on the back um Although, strictly speaking, if we were to do the same on the back as we did the front, then that would mean that we just extend that part up. Um, what we might also do just on the back here is we'll just add, uh, add an extra level of spruce just like this, just on the left and right sides. So let's add like an extra level of spruce just like this. 
there? No, that looks goofy. No, I don't like that, actually. Um, and what can we do? What can we do? I, I'm sure that I did something... I actually didn't. I actually left it just as, as it was. But I, I like the idea of just having something a little bit a little bit different to that. Just on the back. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. That that doesn't look too bad. And we can add the, uh, the same, like glass that we have on the front, although maybe we can have it look a little bit higher on the back. Just just so that it's not the same. I don't like the idea of it being completely same on the back. I like survival houses to have a little bit more variance, a little bit more uh, variation. So that's looking pretty good. Um, we just have to do the inside portion of that. Can I not get in here? Really? Okay, well, uh, how about that? <laughs> there we go. Um, we can then place some... Actually, this I might just I might, I might just uh, fill just behind in here with spruce. I think I'll just do this. That looks fine. Cause that that's just a little that's just a little small part. I'm actually not concerned with that whatsoever. That can just look like that. I'm quite happy. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, you know we're we're almost done. There's only two things that we actually have left to do. Um, we have to add doors in certain positions. So we have to add doors here. That's the kind of like that's the main entrance to the house, I would say. So that that's the main entrance to the house where we have like the fancy overhead kind of like little roof. We have another door here, just up the stairs to the right. We have doors on the balcony here as well. So you can see that we've got uh, three sets of doors just on the front alone. If you don't count the Never Postal, if you don't count the barn. Um, we want to have doors in the back here. The doors are just going to go below this glass. Um, we're also going to have doors on the side as well. So just like that. So that looks great. So we've got doors here on the back, um, underneath there. That is a balcony. That you, I'll show you how that's supposed to look later. That doesn't need any doors. That is looking pretty good. As a matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen, we have a 100% fully completed the house now. The only thing that is left to do is the interior of the house. So, I'm going to completely furnish the inside, I'm going to fill it all in for you, and I'm going to show you how it looks after the fact, just so that you guys have an idea of how you may want to connect things together, how you may want to decorate. I'm going to leave it up to you ultimately though, but just to give you guys a bit of inspiration, that is what I'm going to do. So I'll be back once I have furnished the inside of the house, and I'll give you a good look at what it looks like, and you know, maybe you'll take some inspiration, maybe you'll do some of it yourself, or maybe you won't. We'll see. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is what your house will look like once it has been 100% fully completed. As you can see, the house is absolutely brimming with detail. I don't think that it has any wasted space whatsoever. There are so many different places to explore and enjoy that it will keep you busy for ages. I don't think that this house lacks anything that you would need in survival, but if I have missed something, then there will certainly be space to add it. So on the outside, we have a couple of farms, of course. We actually have four of them in total. We have our Never Portal, and we have two decisions. Do we go up this set of stairs here that will inevitably leave, lead us up to floor two and three, or do we go into the barn? Well, why don't we go into the barn just for some fun and inside the barn you'll be able to see that I have now got two different pens. I have a pig pen here and I have a cow pen here. They're pretty large, they can actually fit quite a few more animals in there than I do have and it is laid out in quite a nice way. I'm definitely making use of all of the beams and rafters that are naturally built into the house. We even have a set of ladders in here as well that will actually take you onto or into rather the second floor of the the house. So this is actually two of three. On the second floor of the house, we have a large smelting station with a little bit of a seating area, plenty of storage. We have uh, we have smokers, we have blast furnaces, we even have a little enchantment library over here. I shouldn't say little as it, it's actually quite large. And we also have uh, some armor storage, some anvils, and again, a little bit of a cozy seating area, some nice decoration. On this floor as well, we are also able to access the ground level. 
So on the ground level, which is only accessible in two ways, you can get down to it here, or you can sneak your way in through the back as well. Alternatively, you can also go through the back of the nether portal too, but down here is basically a mass farming area. We have, I do believe those are potatoes, we have nether wart, we have mushrooms, we even have some carrots in the center. We have an insane amount of storage. There is an insane amount of storage down here, ladies and gentlemen. It, it, literally, I don't think that you could ever run out of barrels and chests. I, I think that you, you before you fill those up, I, I think that you, I, I really don't think that you can literally fill all of those up. I think that that's insane. There's way too many. Uh, in this little area here, we also gain access to the, to the farm. <laughs> And it seems as though that some more cows are being made. So um, there's a little access to the farm there, which we can see through that window. Uh, if we work our way upstairs to get up to the third and final level, there is actually only one way. And that is out here on the walkway area, which is just right by the second floor main entrance. Here, we walk up these side stairs through this door and here it's kind of just a little bit of an everything floor there's every single crafting implement that you might possibly want this storage upon storage it's a nice open interesting area there's again it's more storage more armor more equipment a bedroom we have a brewing area with again more mass storage and finally over here we also have another little bedroom as well kind of like just built into the corner so as you can see this house has a lot to offer it's pretty big it has so many different levels it's just it's an interesting house to explore and i hope that you guys have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed this tutorial ladies and gentlemen i'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button it really helps me and the channel out very very much if you're new to the channel please do consider subscribing and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button that'll ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box and if you would like to make anything else by me check out the card system description below in the top of the comment section for more thank you so much for watching i love you all very much and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye